You ever get a yearning for the good old days? Back when life wasn't so complicated, less responsibility and a lot more free time? When I was in high school, I used to read manga all the time, and I would try to find music to go with it. Those were my good old days. I went through a lot of manga and listened to so many great songs. I also made my way through some trash, but it's neither here nor there. I had some good times in the past, but then again, not everything from back then was perfect. Today, we're talking about Puzzle Plus, something I haven't read since my high school days that, for me, is both bitter and sweet. There's a rumor going around about a black box that can grant any wish you could ever have. How cool would that be? Haven't you ever wanted to be better looking, stronger, more confident? The box can grant that wish and so much more. It could give you everything you've ever wanted. Puzzle Plus was created in 2005 by Manami Sugano. The story takes place in a contemporary setting and centers around two teenagers, Sasanami Mio and Yuigaki Ria. Sasanami Mio. This dude has anime protagonists written all over him. Needlessly long scarf that he wears all the time, just moved into a new apartment in a new town, meets a cute girl within seconds of arrival, and crazy stuff starts to happen to him. Mio seems like the kind of guy to just go with the flow. One day, a girl threatens him to keep quiet about the box. The next day, he's chatting it up with said girl. But at the same time, he's always there to help people when they need it. And then there's the girl. Yui Gaki Ria, our mysterious and airheaded heroine. Only she can destroy the boxes, or so she says. According to Ria, the box only came into existence because of her. She takes on all the responsibility for the box's existence. She doesn't want anyone's help. She doesn't care how much damage she takes. She's even stopped going to school ever since the boxes started showing up. She just doesn't seem to want anything else in life except to destroy that box. But Mio wants to help her. He doesn't want her to face this danger alone. After all, that's what friends do. I like how Mio is a take charge kind of guy. He might not understand everything about the box or Rhea, but he doesn't hesitate when it comes to helping her or others around him. Also, while the story itself is good, it might have been the translation I was reading, but the way the characters explained things left me kind of confused. A better translation would probably clear up a lot of the problems I have with it. Maybe this will get translated like YKK did. Yeah, right. The art is pretty good. This is the first serialized manga that Manami Sugano ever did, so you gotta cut her some slack. Her character designs are good, even if the characters themselves can sometimes look stiff when in motion. I especially like Rhea's signature tattered uniform. It says a lot about her without any actual words. As for the general layout, there's never really any problem leading the eye from one panel to another. Overall, it's a fine looking manga. I especially like her use of screen tones. Alright, now what exactly do I listen to while reading this? Well, it goes a little something like this. Okay. 
Okay, sit down. I got a story to tell you. Around the time I started reading Puzzle Plus, late 2000s, early 2010s, I was really into Vocaloid music. My brothers had gotten me into it through songs like Trick Art, Fire Flower, Hello, How Are You, etc., etc. And when I get into something, I really get into it. So I just kept searching for more and more songs. Around this time is when we discovered YouTube in general. So I was constantly going on there, searching for songs that I loved, and putting them on an original iPod that my big brother gave me. Yeah, remember the original iPod? You know, that thing that literally only just lets you listen to music? <laughs> yeah, that totally won't go extinct soon. That's when I stumbled across Buzz Panda and his cover of Piano Lesson. Man, did I love that song. The strumming of the guitar, combined with Buzz Panda's smooth voice, made for a song that was equal parts relaxing, joyful, and melancholic. The atmosphere in Puzzle Plus can get a little tense sometimes, but it's never so tense that Piano Lesson feels out of place. This isn't a story that has world-ending stakes to it. It's just the story of a girl running away from her problems, and a boy who helps her find her way back. Also, and I wasn't thinking about this when I chose this song for Puzzle Plus, but Buzz Panda's wiki page describes his songs as having a boy-next-door sort of feel, which now I find even more fitting for Puzzle Plus, because Mio is literally the boy-next-door to Rhea. Anyway, I read Puzzle Plus to Buzz Panda's piano lesson when I was younger, and I really enjoyed it. Years pass, and I get a little nostalgic for Puzzle Plus. So I pull up the manga and search for Piano Lesson on YouTube. But I couldn't find it. I searched high and low on YouTube, but it's not there. I googled it, and I still can't find it. There are a couple of his songs on YouTube, but not Piano Lesson. I was really frustrated. How could it just disappear? I don't think it was a copyright strike. Anyway, more years pass. I'm looking through some stuff in my room, and I find the iPod my brother gave me. This poor thing. I dropped it so many times the switch at the top broke, so now I can't even unlock it. There's no way to listen to music from it directly. But fortunately, it's not 2010. I download this app called iExplorer, which allows me to have access to the iPod. I go to the media library, and there it is. You have no idea how euphoric it felt to hear this song after so many years. So many years of thinking it was gone forever. I was so happy to have it back. However, my computer wasn't going to let me have it so easily. Even though iExplorer has a function that lets me download a bunch of other songs from my iPod onto my computer, it wouldn't let me download Piano Lesson for some reason. Why? Why is technology so against me having this song? Well, guess what, technology? I don't give up that easily! So I downloaded OBS to record the song straight from the computer itself. But for whatever reason, the song has some problems whenever I play the video. It skips in some parts. Well, that's just what you get with free streaming software sometimes. It became evident that I was going to have to record the song multiple times and just hope and pray that one of them came out right. I I'm making this sound way more epic than it actually was. I just watched videos on my phone and drew a picture while I was waiting. But eventually, I got it. A recording of this song that doesn't have any skips or any static, none of that. And that's what you're listening to right now. It took a long time to get here, but the journey is finally over. Welcome back. As far as I know, there is no other media for Puzzle Plus. Honestly, an OVA for Puzzle Plus would be pretty cool. I mean, like, you can read the whole thing in an hour anyway. One of my complaints with Puzzle Plus is that the story is a little too ambiguous. Again, that might be part of the problem with the translation that I read. And despite the small cast, everyone except Mio and Rhea felt a bit flat. If they could flesh out the story, characters, and settings a little more, that would be great. As for who would make it, I could definitely see Kyoto Animation doing it. They're the masters of these kinds of cutesy, supernatural, emotional stuff. Man, I'd actually really like to see that. How'd I find out about this manga anyway? Oh yeah. <sighs> there was this girl in high school. I had the biggest crush on her. We were actually really close friends. We had a handful of the same classes, and we were both in our school's anime club. I wanted to know everything about her, so I asked her what her favorite manga was, and she told me Puzzle Plus. I enjoyed it. Without getting into too much detail, she's out of my life now, and that's definitely for the best. But I'm at least grateful to her for introducing me to this manga. As for Buzz Panda, you may know him professionally as Kikuchi Ryota. He's still active. In fact, as of the making of this video, he just released a new album a couple of months ago. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. 
Man, it felt so surreal to hear his voice after all these years. With his guitar by his side, he's still that boy next door. And that's Puzzle Plus. I know I went off on some other things, but I really wanted to talk about my history with this particular manga. Moral of the story? Check out any old tech that you have. It might have some lost media on it. Also, if someone tells you they don't want to go out with you, just move on. Don't keep pursuing them. There's plenty of fish in the sea. You're better off without them, they're better off without you. Thank you all for watching. And don't worry, I'll be uploading piano lessons soon. <laughs>